What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. It's a long weekend for some people, uh, with Monday being Memorial Day. I did get the express order back from PSA. I cut the top off so that way we could get right into it because it takes a few seconds to cut around the box. I didn't see no damage on the outside of the box, so I'm kind of happy. But let's take a look. I know the grade already on this. You guys know what it is. Oh, I sent this off to them last Thursday. They received it Friday, and this went in the, it, I had the grades Tuesday on to it, and they shipped it Wednesday. So basically, it was a very quick process. Under a, a basically eight full calendar days from the day I shipped it till I got it back. So just in case anybody's wondering about Express, it's it's popping there. It's a popping. Oh, this is a thick slab, right? They, they bubble wrapped this one. There was no mistake of them making sure no damage on to it. Make sure I don't see no damage. All right, you guys remember this card. Griffey Trout. I did not grade the auto on to it. See which side they have the grade. There's our card. You guys think, think I pulled it off? I did pull it off. PSA 10, Trout and Griffey. If I'd have got the auto grade, I don't think it would have came back at 10 because it, Griffey kind of has a little bit of streak up there. That's the reason why. Very, very nice card. PSA, thank you. I do appreciate it. Quick turnaround time on this. What you expect with Express offhand. Um, being able to ship something out and... No sooner them getting it on, they they got it on Friday. They logged it as arrived Saturday, and then it went to research and ID sometimes Sunday night late. And I when I woke up Monday, it was in grading. The next day on Tuesday, it shot through assembly and everything else. So real quick, real quick onto it. But real quick video, everybody, I like doing these just because it's, uh, well, one, it's a high end in case something happened to the box or something. I have the uh, the video of me opening it and everything. These are thicker slabs because it's a thicker card, but very, very happy overall. Um, G1 pulled this for me, and the whole process of getting it, getting it out and back, I, I couldn't be happier, and that's from the time that I got the card, got the redemption from Tops, them mailing me the card, to hurried up overnighting it to PSA, because I know any other way will just sometimes get messed up, because I had that one bad experience. So the grade, overall, overall happy. I guess I hit the camera a little bit on everybody. Bug is, hap is going crazy, though, underneath me. But I appreciate everybody for watching the videos. Don't forget, Saturday night, I will figure out what time. It, or, yeah, Saturday night, I'm going to come uh, live. I'm going to start the uh, whatever late night show. I believe I'm going with something with overtime with Extreme. I might change the name between now and uh, tomorrow night with it. We're going to be discussing what I'm seeing going on at the card shows, whether it's videos from Dallas, people that are set up at Dallas and stuff like all over the place to what I see at the show. Uh, we're going to talk about how Panini has overproduced cards and ruined select basically this year. Mm, pretty much about anything I could think of offhand. Those are like the key things, the soft market going on. It just be my raw, uncut comments, and you guys are more welcome in the chat. Ask questions, make comments as always. I'm probably it'll probably be a later on video. I'm guessing, like starting around 11 p.m. Eastern or to midnight, somewhere in there. I'll be live. I just haven't set a time up yet, but hopefully you guys can make it into it. Probably be doing them either bi-weekly, weekly. I'm not too sure yet, but. We're going to give it a go. I got CBC wants to come on in on the first episode as the trial run to make sure everything works right. And then we'll start bringing other people along, guests, stuff like that. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one.